We're gonna start with power, aka the boring part. <laughs> By default, your Xbox is on power saving mode, because save the trees, I guess. They, they, they're probably fine. But if you're cool with giving Mother Nature the finger, you can always switch it to Instant On. Instant On lets you download and play stuff on your Xbox from pretty much wherever with remote play, and it boosts your connection speeds too. Open up the Xbox guide and head into settings. Then, you're gonna want to move over to sleep mode and start up. Hover over and select sleep mode, and you can switch between energy saver and instant on, or what's called standby. But if you really want your Xbox to be faster, you gotta look at the way you turn it up. Because pressing the power button and using the power guide just sort of put it to sleep. And the console won't get any faster when you turn it back on. Head down to the bottom left corner to full shutdown, or hold the power button for 5 seconds. And that's how you completely shut down your Xbox. Now, lag sucks, but here are some ways to make it better. Alright, well, <laughs> take a seat, because uh, I'm going to explain MAC addresses, and hopefully I'm dumbing it down enough that even an Xbox player, <laughs> you can understand. <laughs> Think about it like this. I have an Activision ID. If you've never played COD, an Activision ID is a username followed by a hashtag and a string of numbers. If someone wanted to add me, they would find out what my Activision ID is and then send me a friend request. If my Xbox wanted to connect to my modem or my router, it would find out what the MAC address is and connect to it that way. I only bring this up because I've seen a lot of people over the past few years tell other people to reset their MAC address. Which doesn't do anything. So, stop telling people that. We're gonna stop with the boring stuff and head into DNS, or domain name servers, which are still kind of boring. Think of a DNS server as a library. It's storing a lot of downloads, websites, and IP addresses for said websites. If you wanna have faster and upload download speeds, you're gonna wanna go to the library that's closer to you so you can get books faster? I don't know where I'm going with this. The library has the books that you need. The DNS server has the IP addresses that you need to get faster connection speeds. Find a DNS server that's closer to you, get the primary and secondary DNS codes right, and boom, faster upload and download. Just how do you find DNS servers? Well, the things are everywhere. Look them up by state, look them up by console, or any location really. And you can just find DNS servers anywhere and everywhere. Be sure though to check that they have a primary and secondary DNS code. You know what? Alright, well how about before you break anything, we figure out how to check your network speed first. Head to settings, network settings, and then check connection speed. And if you don't want to check your network speed, go to the right to advanced settings and then change your DNS code from there. The directions will be on screen. But listen to me, heart to heart here. No music, no no gameplay, no that. DNS servers are great. They don't help that much, and MAC addresses don't even do anything. <laughs> the one surefire way of stopping lag? Ethernet cables. It's not all I can say about this one. You just plug it into your router, and then plug the other end of the Ethernet cable into your Xbox, and this stops happening. Dude. So, get an ethernet cable. I'll be honest with you, mate. Connection speeds aren't the only reason why you're lagging so much. It can be a lot of things, but one of the biggest things is where your console's resources are going. Anytime you close a game, especially for some specific newer games, there's a chance that it can show up in your quick resume folder, where the game's saving the instance of where you were just last playing, and trying to keep it there so you can go back whenever you want. Sounds great on paper, but the more games you've got in quick resume, the less RAM you've got to allocate to the game you're playing right now. And that's... <laughs> Bad. And if you're thinking, well, why don't you just tell me how to disable it, um, you might want to sit down for this one. <clears throat> you can. But it's not all bad. Because at any time, you can just decide to remove it yourself. Oh, thank god. All you gotta do is open up the Xbox guide, head down to My Games and Apps, open up the Quick Resume folder, select a game, and press Remove from Quick Resume. This sucks, this also sucks, but this doesn't suck. And no, I'm not talking about the Xbox. I'm talking about what's inside the Xbox. The 
Xbox has really fast internal storage, so it's important to utilize it if you have the space. The problem with it is that you don't get a whole lot, and a lot of newer games actually need it to run. But if you do have the space, your older games could really benefit by being on a newer hard drive, with faster load times and less lag. To move files around, go to My Games and Apps and head down to the Manage section at the bottom. From there, go to Storage Devices. It'll open up this panel where you can see all of your current storage devices, and by clicking on one and pressing the View Contents, you can see everything in it. Or, you can just press Move or Copy and pick which files to transfer to the other storage. The Xbox has got a lot of issues, and hopefully this helped you to fix some of them. And considering how long it took to make this, I'm just gonna be lazy and leave you with this. Yeah, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hey, can you tell them to, um, subscribe? Oh.